Morning guys, I hope you don't mind me sitting up close and personal with you. Today I'm going to do a Topshop lipstick review kind of thing. I'm going to show you swatches on my lips and hopefully it helps. I only have, well not only, I have now six Topshop lipsticks and I'm proud of um, every single one of them. I want to get more but right now I think I'm quite satisfied with my collection. Um, okay, to start off, I'm going to show you how pigmented my natural lips are. These are my natural lips and they are not very moisturized and I don't really take care of my lips. I'm just a lazy person like that, I know. Um, I do try to exfoliate them, but really that only happens when I feel guilty about my chapped lips. As you can see, they are really quite like a purpley plum shade by itself. So I'm really envious of girls who have um, like pink lips, like naturally pink lips, but I just don't. It could be the accumulation of dead skin over like 20 over years, I don't know. But anyway, these are my natural lips. They are to the more plummy shade and um, it affects the colors as I put them on. So if you have a similar shade of a uh, lip color to mine, then maybe this video will be useful. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the oranges that I have and I have a um, this first one called Whimsical, then Charmed, then Infrared. So obviously I'm going to start with Whimsical and this is what it looks like in the tube. And then So it's just a very pale pinky orange and you can still see my natural lip coming through especially at the top so I definitely need like a lip liner on it this one is very moisturizing because I think it's uh, it's not a matte finish it's a velvet finish so very very moisturizing and with me so that my lips don't get worse than they are. Um, I'm going to use the Biore Cleansing Oil in Cotton Wipes and these are my favorite makeup wipes because they really remove makeup like in a flash. And my lipstick is off. This color I'm going to try on is Charmed and this is also I think a velvet finish lipstick. So it's a little bit more orange then whimsical <laughs> so this is definitely a little bit more bright like orange and um, but it's still very wearable so it's beautiful I love it and um, yeah because it's a velvet finish it's very moisturizing on the lips I much prefer these lipsticks actually to my MAC ones. Okay, lastly I have in the orange family, Infrared and <laughs> this is a super duper orange one. Com I'm going to compare it next to Charmed. As you can see, Charmed is like a toned down whereas Infrared is a bold orange. Um, I think it's a very retro and very bold look. It's just very orange. <laughs> yeah, it's just like a true orange. So this is a velvet finish as well. So it's also very moisturizing and it's very, very opaque as you can see. But it's very beautiful. I think it goes really well with if I wear something like this, like a little bit more pale outfit. This lip really helps to make your whole look pop. So for the pinks I have, um, let's see, in order, I have Tease, Macaroon and Brighton Rock. I really love Macaroon and Brighton Rock 
So, but I'm just going to apply them on my lips now. To and Tease is like a blue toned pink. It's a matte finish for sure. You can even see on, in the tube, it's a very matte looking lipstick. And it being a matte lipstick, I still feel that it's quite moisturizing. And because it's very blue toned, I kind of think this pink mixed with my plum lips, after a while, it kind of looks like a purple, like a lilac lip. Don't you think? I think it looks really different in the tube than on my lips. I just think it has turned out to be like a purple, something like a lime crime lipstick. Next is going to be Macaroon. And I love this. This is so cute. This is a pinky bright coral. <laughs> This lipstick, I would say, brightens up my original lips, uh, lip color and just gives it like a really nice, um, like healthy shine. So, I love this lip color. And then the full face. Macaroon is just so wearable and perfect for day. Okay, the last one is Brighton Rock and this is a hot pink. I'll just compare Macaroon and Brighton Rock for you. So as you can see, Brighton Rock leans towards the pink side and Macaroon is more towards a coral. Brighton Rock is a matte finish but it's gorgeous. It's still very soft on your lips. It's not drying at all, even though I have such dry lips. And so this is the look. <laughs> yeah, so I really like this lipstick as well if I'm out for a bold look. I think out of all the Topshop lipsticks that I have, my favorite lipstick so far is definitely Macaroon, followed by Brighton Rock. At $19 each, I do think that they are very worth it. In the same price range as our drugstore makeup um, lipsticks, such as Revlon lipsticks and so forth. If you didn't know, in Singapore, MAC lipsticks sell or retail for like $30 over dollars, and the new mineralized MAC lipsticks were selling for $40, which I just feel is a ripoff. Um, so these Topshop lipsticks are great quality and they have a really good range of colors I feel and I'm just so excited that I finally tried the lipsticks range out in Topshop and I'm in love with it. Whew. So this is the end of my review. Um, I have used, this is a beautiful colorful uh, makeup wipe right now and I'm gonna just leave you here. Um, I really enjoyed doing this review. It was quite fun, although my lips are quite sore right now. I'm just gonna put on a balm and then head out to work. So I hope this review was helpful, that the lip swatches were clear enough. Thanks so much for watching my video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye-bye!